Well, I've done it again. I've got this um, Xerox memory writer typewriter here, and I've taken it apart. See? Nothing there. Oh! Here it is! Xerox memory writer. And it works, too. But, that's not all. I have an Arduino here, and I have hacked the keyboard. So I'm just going to kind of roll this in. And we're going to reuse this sheet of paper, even though I already wrote on it. Okay. And, right now it's a regular typewriter. Blah, 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 blah. You type, and it does stuff. Um, line spacing. So it all works, right? Okay. Great. But, obviously... The uh, 6010 did not have the uh, computer option to act as a daisy wheel printer. Oh, well, <laughs> it does now. Um, Arduino takes the keyboard, intercepts the keystrokes, and from there, Arduino forwards the keystrokes onto the typewriter. Or, here we go, my trusty computer. Um, I'm just going to open up. Windows printer, and this is just a generic text only driver. I'm gonna go to manage. I usually do it in here. And I'm gonna print a test page, and I'm going to print the test page to the printer, or I should say the typewriter. Now, what happens is the Arduino here has been slightly modified. Um, so, there used to be a capacitor here. You can see where to solder, where that wire is soldered on, and it goes to A1, which I'm just using as a digital pin. And that is actually my DTR from this uh, serial chip here. This serial chip here, the USB to serial, the DTR that would normally reset the Arduino is going into there. And then should the Arduino need to be reset, that's what this wire is. That just goes from A0, which is just used as a digital in. And that'll reset your Arduino. So, for example, if I want to upload code to change this, and eventually I'm getting a board made, um, the Arduino will be able to I'll be able to flash the code. And I just put it into a program upload mode, and that's pretty simple. I'm going to do that now. Now it's waiting for code. So if I flash it, I can update it. Um, but obviously I don't need to do that, so I'm just going to hit reset here. And I'm going to print the test page. And my margins are actually off a little bit. I should have set that up, but I didn't. I screwed that up. you got to set your margins ahead of time. As you can see, it's not the fastest, but it is cool. So this knows nothing about tab, so it has to use spaces for everything, which makes it even slower. It's going to run off the page, unfortunately. Maybe it won't.
right. And we're done. Now, if you notice, the printout turned out perfect, except for, obviously, the path name. And right now, the code is just skipping it. The typewriter only has this slash key here. The file path name for the directories uses the opposite slash, which this typewriter obviously does not have. I haven't really determined how I want to handle this. So right now, I'm just skipping it. So that's why there's nothing. It's just ignoring it and moving on. Um, I may end up substituting it with another character or just leaving a space there. I haven't determined yet, but normally with something like this, I wouldn't be printing that. But, um, you know, the text is nice and clear. I've actually rebuilt this typewriter. It was in rough shape when I got it. It didn't really work all that great. Um, but, yeah. There you go. And then, I'm just going to pop this in here because you do not ever want to print, or I should say typewrite on the platen. So I'm just going to do this. And you can see... I am still able to use it as a typewriter without doing anything. So when it gets something from the computer, it'll do it. And oh, I did, did forgot to show you this light will come on. That's the special entry light. This light will come on when I do that. And it's got a whole bunch of other features. I may eventually do a video on it. Um, I got a mode for dumping the keyboard codes and all that other stuff. Um, if you do bold and underline, which... Um, I just use characters that are not on this keyboard, like bold and underline um, are these two characters. So if I do bold, um, this character that turns bold on, that character again turns bold off, same thing, that one's underline on and off. And I also send the commands to the keyboard, since the keyboard is not doing anything, it's just the Arduino's emulating the keyboard. I actually do send commands directly to the keyboard as well, turning these lights on and off, just because... Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy that.